What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion about reinforcing. Okay, so last video, we have learned how to sketch our rebar. So this time around, we are going to create an area reinforcing bar. Okay, so we are going to sketch it. So to do that, to start that, so what we are going to do is, let me just open the section first, which is uh, this one. So there's my typical foundation. So we should be able to create our area reinforcement bar on our slab here. So I'm going to select uh, tile views. Okay, so tile views. So I have my floor plan here and I also have my uh, detail view here. So I'm just going to zoom into this area. So our goal is to put our area reinforcing, uh, reinforcement bar here. Okay, so to start that, so let's go to the structure tab and then from the reinforcement panel, you can see here area or structural area reinforcement. So it sketches the boundary of an area to populate with rebar. Okay, so let's do this one. So I'm going to select structural area reinforcement and then according to our status bar here, pick structural floor or wall for area reinforcement. So in our case, we are going to highlight our floor here, which is this one. So you can see as I hover my pointer, it highlights the floor. So you click that and then you are, you are now on the modify create reinforcement boundary. So we will be using rebar line and then these are the tools that we use to sketch the boundary of our reinforcement bar. Okay. Now, before we create that, let us have a look at the properties. So these are the properties that you can change when you create or when you place your area reinforcement rebar. Okay, so we are going to place our top uh, major bar. So that's the type, it's number four. So basically, I'm just going to use this uh, default setting. So we will be placing it at the top. And then we are going to place it also at the major. Again, you have an option if you do not want to include the bottom part of the slab. So if you only want to have the top portion, so you just need to check that and then uncheck the bottom here. But in my case, I'm just going to check both the bottom and then the top uh, option for our reinforcement rebar. Okay, I'm just going to use these default settings here. Again, if you have time, you can play around this. Uh, layers here, the options here, and then the construction here. Okay, so I'm just going to use these settings. Now, um, I'm going to select here the peak lines tool, and then after that, I'm going to pick now the edges or the boundary of the rebar or the area reinforcement rebar that I will be creating. Okay, so I'm going to select this one. There you go. And I'm going to select this line here. Okay, so let me just uh, delete this one. Just going to redo again the boundary because I accidentally pick one point. So I'm going to select pick lines, rebar line, rebar line, and then I'm going to pick this line here. So that's my first line, and then this denotes here the direction of your rebar. Okay. I'm going to pick this one. I'm going to pick this. Okay. This one. Just pick the boundary. Alright, now for this boundary here, I'm just going to create a boundary on that area. And then I'll be using the split element, or you can also type SL. And then let us pick this one. Now make sure you select delete inner segment here. So we can pick this one here, and then I'm going to pick one here. There you go. Okay. Right? So once you created the area or the boundary of your reinforcement, so you just need to select here, finish. And automatically, once you select finish, take a look now here. So we just now created our three bars. There you go. There you go. There you go. Right? So we have the top and then we also have the bottom. And on our floor plan here, it also automatically creates here 
the symbol okay which is this one so when you click that that is the area reinforcement symbol okay so I'm just going to delete that I don't need that area symbol as well as the span direction which is this one okay so I select that the span direction one way slab I'm just going to delete that but don't worry you still have the, the tag here so I'm going to click that, and then I'm just going to place it here. All right, there you go. Okay, and you will notice as you hover your pointer, it highlights the rebars, right? See? Now, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click one of the rebar. Okay, I'm just going to click one of the rebar. And then I'm going to right click and then let's select all instances visible in our view. Okay, so as you can see, I just selected 172 structural rebar. The reason why I select that is that let's say I want to see this rebar in my 3D view. So while it is still selected, look for the view visibility states, select the edit, and then after that, you just check the 3D view here. I select that view unobscured unobscured and view as solid so that we can see this rebar in 3d view just select ok all right so once you're done you can just go now to your 3d view and then there you go so as you can see there's now our rebar okay so there's the detail level fine so there's now our rebar so you can turn on the section box click the section box from the properties do not select any object and then from the properties look for the section box so there's the section box so I can select that and then I can control the cropping so let's say I'm just going to move it somewhere here somewhere here and then orbit so there you go All right so there's your rebar, your reinforcement, your area reinforcement rebar. Okay, if you want to see the whole thing, just uncheck the section box again. And there you have it. Okay. Right? Okay, so basically that's how you create your area reinforcing rebar. So it's not that difficult. So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thank you for watching have a nice day